Okay, the camera is now on the other side from where it was in yesterday's video. And you remember we were talking about the fact that there are little protrusions coming up off, off the deck that hold this up. And I had thought, because of the way the light was hitting it, that this end here, now remember we're looking at it the other way around, was actually sitting on the deck, but it's actually not. It looks like the the entire uh, part here is being held up slightly. So, uh, yeah, that's interesting. Well, it's kind of interesting. This is a mixture of CA thick and CA thin. I'm trying to make up sort of a a medium here. Doesn't want to go on too good. I might have to uh, do something a little bit different. I don't want to get it on so thick that it's going to all of a sudden run, you know, all over the deck. Okay. Let's see if we can get this part on there. Now, in all likelihood, you can see it a lot better than I can. But I think that's on. Okay, now I've switched the camera around. Now it's on my side of the stern. And my CA glue is starting to set up a little bit here. Maybe I should be getting a different applicator before I make a mess. Okay, let's try this one. seems to be working. Whoops. There's going to be lots of whoopses in this build, I'm afraid. Supposed to be just on there nice and straight and held up on those little protrusions coming out of the deck. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, we'll look at it from just a slightly different angle here. I think it's all the way down. Yeah. Okay, that's it for intake six and seven. Now we can do four and five. You know, these ones are big enough I could probably pick them up with my fingers. It might be possible to put these on the wrong way around. So let's get them orientated the right way. Okay, so that one goes like that and this one here goes like that okay oh and these ones have a little uh, things come out of the deck too to help hold it up. Okay. Maybe I better be using the tweezers. Now I'm thinking here that if I only apply some glue to the bottom of this thing here where it's gonna, you know, touch here, maybe that'd be okay. 
because uh, if I try to put the glue on here, it could run out onto the deck. So I think that's what I'm going to try and do here. Okay, I don't want to be dropping this in the wrong place because the glue is on there. Okay, I've swung the camera around and we'll see if we can do this one now the same way. Now according to the manual here, there's supposed to be a short length of chain comes out of right here and just sort of lays beside this little box here. Like if you follow the arrows right down, one end will go into the hole, and the other hand looks like it looks like it's supposed to end right there. But I was noticing that if I page ahead, I can see that it looks like it goes well I'll page ahead and show you. Okay, it looks like it lays beside this little box here. Let's look on the deck and see if there's maybe any markings. Now something a little bit, you might say, disconcerting happened just right now. In all my shuffling around here and trying to line up for this shot, I've lost the other chain. Now, fortunately, we do have this one. Uh, if you remember from about five or six weeks ago we concluded that there was very little difference. Now probably after I get this one glued in place here uh, I'll find the other one. That's usually the way it goes. And I've checked everywhere for it. I even checked the cuffs of my pants just in case I dropped it. Anyway, if you, if you notice here it's supposed to come out of here and lay on the deck and I believe it's supposed to just go in under here. I'm pretty sure that's the way it's supposed to go. Um, then I believe there's a piece of photo etching that goes on the top here. Um, yeah, I think that's what it's all about there. That's what it looks like to me anyway. Okay, I found it. And when you know where to look, well, yeah, it's as plain as can be. It was right there. So I'll put it back in this little box there and and another thing, I found out why it's only a little short piece from here to here. And I'll show you a picture that I found on the internet and explain. Okay, so yes, the anchor chain comes out of here and it goes to this box, which is actually some kind of a windlass type thing. The little piece of photo etch that goes on the top there, well, you'll see it in the, in the picture. And the rest of the anchor chain is not a chain, it's a cable. So this uh, windlass winds up the cable and it probably goes on to some kind of a spool underneath the deck there. Anyway, that's what I understand. I wasn't there, I didn't see it, but that's what I understand. Yeah, I've taken my spray glues off. It was sitting right here. And the reason being is I was finding that because the booth was sitting right here, I couldn't swing this around and have it this way to make it a little bit more convenient for me. Normally I'm sitting right exactly where the camera is. Uh, so anyway, that's what's happening here. Telling you more than you need to know, right? Okay, now everything's a little bit more in front of me here. Well, let's 
see if we can do something with this little anchor chain. One thing's for sure, I don't want to drop it down in that hole. <laughs> I might not get it back. Now you're going to be noticing in some of these shots, you're hearing something running in the background. Well, in the summertime, that'll be my air conditioner. And in the wintertime, it'll be my furnace. Same fan. Anyway, how much do I actually need of this chain? I'm just cutting off any more than I need, just in case I screw it up and have to use another piece. Okay, that should do it. And I guess I'm going to want to have it where it's painted, so I'm going to have to cut it. Let's, let's cut this unpainted end off. Okay. I'll make it just a little bit longer. And I'll let it go down the hole. Now, being as if this chain is so short, I don't think I need to worry about it siphoning itself down the hole. But you know Murphy's Law. And also, where should this come? Should it come to the center of this little box like it appears in the photograph? Or maybe a little bit more off to the side closer to you? And also, how am I going to glue it so that the glue doesn't show? Okay, I'm trying not to shake the table here because I realize that the camera is Okay, does that look kind of straight? Actually, you can see it better than I can by a long shot. Sometimes when I'm editing these close-ups up, close-ups afterwards, and I think to myself, oh my goodness, I was way off. Kinda looks straight. No, not really the the link that's up against that windless box. Not straight there. Now you gotta remember I'm working with pieces that are about the size of a screw that comes out of a wristwatch movement. And uh see if I was to put a little drop of glue right there and try and glue that one down then I could stretch it taunt and glue it right in here I'll try that and see how that works now I'm going to try and see if I can get a little tiny drop of glue to run down the side of that box onto that link oh, this is not going well Oh my goodness. OK. 
Okay, try it again. Mind you, it did actually glue on there. Okay, we'll let that cure and see what we got. So, okay. Remember I was talking about uh, it's easy to have camera shake and if I touch the table, you know, it, it doesn't take a whole lot here. Just, just very little. And we're getting, well you can see it on the screen there. And I've been thinking of doing this for quite a while. What would be wrong with having something like like this that's kind of stiff and have it so it will fasten onto here and fasten over here or maybe maybe onto this I just have to be careful that in fact it you could almost just lay on here and just the friction of the of the thing would help a little bit it could still go this way but the problem is it goes this way well, we'll see. In the meantime, let's see if we can get the other end of that chain glued in here. It's getting kind of late. Now at least a half an hour has passed since we glued the other end. And I don't want to pull this too tight. Okay, it looks straight to me from here. Once again, this is uh, my homemade CA medium concoction. Now I can hardly believe that I did this. My big fat fingers were in your line of vision there. All I had to do was just sort of look up into the monitor and I would have seen what was happening. Yeah, I didn't bother to look. I thought I was out of the way. Okay, I'm going to trust it. I've got that. Just maybe just give it one little touch more. Well, you know what? I'm going to leave that. And uh, we'll see what we've got in the morning. In the meantime, thanks for watching. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.